When the Khmer Rouge controlled Cambodia from 1975, they removed all civil and political rights, effectively making the people slaves to the government. They prevented ownership of private property, money, religious practices, minority languages, and even foreign clothing. For the slightest offence, citizens could be detained and interrogated. A network of prisons was set up through the entire country to hold, torture and execute people. The most infamous of the prisons was S21, set up in a school in the suburbs of Nom Pen. Here, supposed traitors and their families were incarcerated, photographed, tortured and killed. From the 17,000 odd people that entered S21, only about a dozen survived. The Khmer Rouge believed that Cambodians had become corrupted by outside influences especially from neighbouring Vietnam and the capitalist West. The Khmer saw only pure people, those who supported their vision, or impure people, those who were to be persecuted. It turned out that the impure represented about a quarter of the entire population, nearly two million who lost their lives between 1975 and 1978. The killing started as soon as the Khmer Rouge took power. Thousands of military personnel were murdered immediately and people were forcibly moved out of cities into what they called re-education schools, places of state propaganda. family structure was destroyed as people were forced to live communally. Ethnic minorities like the Chinese, Vietnamese and Muslim Cham were especially targeted, with some 80% being killed. Anyone considered an intellectual was also killed. People like doctors, lawyers and teachers, even those who wore glasses or were competent in a foreign language. People living near the Vietnamese border were specifically targeted. Vietnam invaded Cambodia on Christmas Day, 1975, ousting the Khmer Rouge from power. At first, survivors of the regime considered the Vietnamese to be liberators, but it was not long before they were seen as occupiers. Vietnam occupied Cambodia until 1989 with violent clashes taking place all through the 1980s. The government after Pol Pot, with some democratic features, was led by a re-established monarchy. But the Khmer Rouge disappeared much later. They still held on to Cambodia's seat at the United Nations for another 12 years. In October 1991, the Comprehensive Cambodian Peace Agreement, known as the Paris Peace Accord, ended the 12-year civil war. Temporarily governed by a national council and the United Nations Transit Authority, by May 1993, Cambodia held its first free elections in more than 20 years. A tribunal was set up in January 2001 to try the leadership of the Khmer Rouge for crimes against humanity. 
Beginning in 2009, the trials have resulted in only four convictions, including that of Kang Gwek Eve, the commander of S-21. He was sentenced to imprisonment for life. The vast majority of perpetrators suffered no consequences.